Finding a developer job, especially as a junior developer, I felt tough. The fear of rejection and self-doubt can make it even harder. But don't worry, I'm here to help you land the dream job you always wanted. Step by step, let's make it simple and achievable. So number one, you have to build a standout portfolio. Your portfolio is the most important asset you have in this tech industry because your portfolio showcases your skills your creativity and what you have experienced throughout your years as a developer or a designer. But what exactly does a standard portfolio look like? A great portfolio isn't about just listing the projects you've created. A great portfolio tells a story. It shows your unique style of creativity. It shows how you are unique and how you are separated from other developers or designers out there. And what your portfolio should really focus on is real world projects. Employers want to know the value you want to bring to the table. They are not interested in your mini projects like creating a landing page or a checkout page, no. They are interested in the real world projects you've created. A lot of times, junior developers create mini projects like a landing page, like a checkout or a login page, no. We should focus on real world projects projects that people are using you can choose to add your own personal projects but make sure to have at least three real world projects or maybe just two two or three real world projects but how do you create these projects for example you can take a friend if you have a friend that needs a website or a design or need something that you can simply or quickly create for that person just go out contact that friend and create it for the person and that is a real world project you can just put for yourself if you have a friend that is a photographer why not create a photography website for that friend and put it in your portfolio so first don't focus on money no focus on the value you can bring to people because when you are focusing on money then you not go anywhere number two master the key technologies focus on mastering the few technologies that are driving the industry forward for example ai is booming right now and if you can learn to always incorporate ai or anything new in your website or any app you design i think that will make you stand out from a lot of people so i'm not saying you should go and master ai you should go and learn how to create complex ais no, that's not what I'm saying. So if you are not someone who is into machine learning and AI, but you can still put it in your website or your application. All those AIs you see, they have APIs. Let's just take it chat GPT for example. They have their API. You can simply connect the API to your website. You don't really need to understand the math going around that AI or any complex calculations. No, you don't need to understand those. You just need to grab the api and connect it to your website and you can just kick start it and use for example like a customer support ai why not put it in your website so that if users visit your website they can quickly go to the customer support ai and just get a quick chat and i think this will make your website or application stand out number three networking and building connections so look networking can open doors that your skills alone and not open to so start connecting with other developers and designers from platforms like github linkedin or dribble on github you can contribute to open source projects or just create your own codes and try to share it with other people so this will show your skills and let you collaborate with other developers out there linkedin is also a key make sure to create a linkedin account a lot of these companies right now use linkedin to look for developers and people to hire so make sure you have your linkedin account set make sure to have your profile and to have the skills you can offer and if you have any application or anything you've created you can simply post it on your linkedin you can have your linkedin post just post anything you've created over at linkedin you can also choose to connect with other similar people so if you see someone that is in your niche you can simply connect with that person and if that person is ahead of you you can even give your projects or anything you have created for that person to just review and comment for you just go connect with the person and then you can attach anything you have or if you have a project just give it to the person to give you a feedback and this will help you connect with other people and i think if you do this you are setting yourself up for success dribble is another place that recruiters used to hire but dribble is for designers 
the people that are into design they use Dribble. you can use Dribble to share any design you have so if you have designed a landing page a logo or anything you've designed whether it's a graphic design or ui ux design you can simply share it on Dribble. and Dribble is like a portfolio of a designer's work so make sure to harness the power of Dribble if you're a designer Number four, leverage freelance and contract work. Freelancing can be an easy way to build your reputation and also your experience if you are just starting out. Freelancing allows you to work on real projects, meet clients and build relationship with those clients. Platforms like Upwork, Freelancer, or Fiverr can quickly connect you with clients that are looking for people with your skill. If you have a skill that you can offer for the market, you can simply sign up for any of the freelancing softwares I've listed and you can offer the skill that you have. And what happens is that if a client sees your profile and like your skill, a person can quickly contact you and you can offer that skill and it's a way of even earning money while you go after the job you want. And the power of freelancing is that you are working on real world projects. People come with their real world projects and you have a handful of those projects that you can quickly put on your portfolio. And let me tell you something, you can quickly use that freelancing as a leverage to even get a job from a client. So if you have a client that really loves your job, so you have done something for the client that the person is happy about, the person can quickly offer you a job through that. The journey to your dream job will not be easy. So you have to put in the work, you have to struggle, and always believe that everything will work out and make sure you have patience. Let me ask you these few questions before you go. When was the last time you spent time alone with your thoughts? Are you tracking and achieving the goals you've set for yourself? And most importantly, are you genuinely happy with your life right now? If you pause for a moment to think of these questions, then be sure to watch my next videos because I'm going to answer those questions for you.